was listening to the interview you did with Howard Stern, and I know you said that initially you might have misled the studio into thinking you were doing something a little more silly and commercial. So I got curious, how did the idea look when you first pitched it compared to the final product? Um, I would think that like uh, maybe uh, projections were made that we did not correct as far as what the tone and style of the movie was going to be. Um, you know, I think when you uh, are filming a movie for a big studio that you have starred in many big comedies for in the past, and that movie's about you playing two roles, one of whom is a old Eastern European Jew and the other is great grandson. I think, you know, there was the, there's the version that you assume we're going to make. And we did not um, dissuade them from assuming that was what we were making. <laughs> I appreciated the, uh, the unique texture and tone to this. So I'm glad you went that route. I yes, know about the whole beard thing and i know that you're a producer on this movie so in a sense yeah. what you say goes but did anyone need any extra convincing to actually let you schedule the movie that way way where you have to hit so many locations twice it was i mean i mean yeah there was there were a few conversations about how much easier everything would be if i wore a fake beard in just a few scenes but then I thought that would be even worse, honestly. Like I thought after, you know, listening to or seeing me with a, you know, real beard for 90% of the movie, those 10%, you know, instances would really stand out negatively. So, um, no, it, it overall, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, it was a difficult logistical choice, but I think it makes the viewing experience uh, better in my opinion. How about just for you as an actor and performer, does actually, you know, having the real, not just having the real beard, but being able to shoot all of one character's experience and then go back and do the other help you? Um, it did, I think. Yeah, I think it was helpful to stay in the mindset um, of one character for a while and then switch to the other. And, and also, yeah, I mean, just logistically performing with a fake beard is a nightmare that I did not want to do every day. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the whole beep system too? I was I was hearing a little bit about that and wondering, is that a technique you guys came up with to nail this kind of process? Or is that something that just existed that you knew you could use if you needed? I honestly have no idea. Um, I've never done it before. It's some, we use beeps when we do ADR. It's a similar thing. Like beeps being used for timing cues is 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 something that is done in, in the entertainment industry, you know, but um, yeah, I had never had to do that, but I've never done a movie with, uh, you know, this type of visual effects. Like this is the end has a lot of visual effects, but it's all stuff that's added in post. We're not like matching to anything. As soon as you're matching to things um, that have been shot already, it's uh, a whole other ball game. And so the beeps were a constant part of my life for a very long time, but um, luckily I have okay rhythm. Uh, I hope you don't uh, hear him in your sleep now. I think I'm getting yeah. the wrap up signs. So to close out here, I have to ask because you're talking to a gigantic Ninja Turtles fan. Yeah. One, yeah. who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? And two, what is it about your movie that's going to make it stand out from the other Ninja Turtle feature films we've seen before? Uh, Michelangelo is definitely my favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, you know, as a lifelong fan of Ninja Turtles, uh, weirdly, the teenage part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is always the part that stuck out to me the most. Um, and as someone who loves teenage movies and who has made a lot of teenage movies and who literally got their start in their entire profession by writing a teenage movie, um, the idea of kind of honing in on that element was really exciting to us. Um, and 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 focus not i mean not disregarding the rest but really using that as kind of a jump jumping off point for for the film i like the sound of that and uh huge congratulations on this as well absolutely awesome thank you awesome. thank you appreciate it